New tonight, a mission woman is desperate for relief after the city kicks her out of her home. As CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz found out, her eviction was part of the city's program to keep structures safe. Annalise. Tiffany and Eddie Lydia Weaver used to call this used clothes shop home. But there's no one home now, and Weaver still doesn't understand why. Lydia Weaver was going about her morning as usual Wednesday when she got the notice. So I just go get some coffee, and by the time I come back with a cup of coffee, the deputies was already inside. They don't let me go in. She lives here in the heart of downtown Mission, where she also runs a used clothes shop. However, the city deemed that building unsafe for human occupancy. They say I had to leave because the city owned the property. And I say, well, no, this is my house. I mean, I don't know. It says you had to leave. Uh, you take back your belongings. Weaver picked up what she could and is now staying with relatives. The city of Mission has a condemned buildings program. If residential or business properties become unsafe or unsanitary, the city will do something about it. We want to make sure that people that live here in Mission and also people that come and visit Mission are also safe from any, any danger that may be posed by these unsafe uh, conditions. Planning Director Daniel T. Herina says the city makes sure that those who are evicted have other options. However, Weaver doesn't want to make other accommodations because she says she's never felt unsafe in her own home. It might not be what they want it, what the way they like it, but it's my house and I'm happy in there. Nobody forced me to be there. I want to be there because it's my dignity, my honor, my life, my work, my job. She says she doesn't have money to pay for a lawyer, but that she'll continue to look for ways to fight for her property. Hedina says that the condemned buildings program has about 300 other cases at this time. Live in Mission, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.